Welcome back to another video. On this episode, I'll be painting the Mutant Crystals and the Dark Ale Candy over the top of the inside of the bonnet for the S15. I've got it all prepped up. I use Grey Scotch Bright and Paste over the whole inside, making sure that I get right down in all those corners and all those tight spots. Washed it all down with water, spent about 20 minutes with an air blower, blowing all the water out so I know that there's gonna be no water coming out in hidden areas while I'm trying to paint this bonnet. There's nothing worse than that happening. So if you're ever doing insides of bonnets and you're doing custom paintwork like this, especially on the inside of a bonnet where there's a lot of areas where water has a bit of trouble coming out, what I like to use is a chamois and an air blower and I blow it for about 10-15 minutes getting all that water out because at the end of the day I like to prep stuff so it lasts a lifetime and in order for me to do that I mean I can do it dry but I prefer to do it wet with a compound which is called scuff stuff works really well I find that it scuffs up a surface and cleans it really well at the same time with that being said guys I'll show you what I've got done so far on this bonnet let's get into it all right, so as I've already explained, I've scuffed this down with grey scotch bright and paste. Uh, it does a really good job. It's still nice and clean. I spent a bit of time with an air blower getting all the water out, so I know that it's not going to come out halfway through the painting process. In regards to masking, I've just got a sheet of plastic. I laid it down over the top and then got some two-inch tape, hard masked that plastic down to the bonnet, then back masked around the whole bonnet edge which has left me with a nice soft edge, which will eliminate any paint edges from happening on the edge of the bonnet. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You can get fussy and get some paper and put paper around the whole outside as well, just to keep that uh, taped down. It's not a bad idea, um, but look, I'm gonna be pretty careful with it, so uh, I'll probably leave it the way it is. Everything's been sanded down with grey scotch bright and water. I didn't use degreaser on the inside of this. It didn't look too bad, um, but yeah, so we'll give it a really thorough like prep sole um, on the rocket cover and the uh, inside of the bonnet. Now, I will be using a surface of primer on these parts. Now, the reason, well, a main key reason why that's a really good idea is for this reason. Now, this painted surface hasn't got a clear coat on it. Now, whoever painted it, um, they probably wanted to get in and out of the booth really quickly or they wanted to um, minimize the amount of product they were using on the car um, so they didn't put a clear coat down on the inside of the bonnet. Now, some factory paint jobs, they have a satin clear or like a sort of like a matte sort of finish. Now, what some people do is they put 10% of hardener in their base coat, which kind of makes the base coat have, like when it dries, a semi-gloss kind of look, which is what this kind of has. Um, you'll see that I've got some rub throughs and sand throughs here. Um, same with up on the sealer, up on the front edge of the bonnet there. Um, so the reason why I've sanded through the base coat with the Scotch Bright is because there was no clear coat applied, which means that the color or the base coat on this surface hasn't been sealed down. Now it's very important that we seal this down. Um, the reason for that um, and the technical reason why is that if we were to start applying our base coat on top of the existing base coat, we could come into delamination problems of the clear coat and the candy and the mutant crystals and stuff later on. So that's why it's very important that when you're painting surfaces, it doesn't matter if it's got a clear coat on it or even just uh, the base coat left like this, um, it's very important that you seal all that paint down so you can start fresh um, with the new colors. Um, and then you won't have any tra any dramas with like, um, like delamination and stuff later on. So it's very, very important. Um, anyway, with that being said, guys, let's, let's mix up some surface of primer. We'll uh, get some heat in these panels. I uh, wanna try and get the panels up to around the 22 to 24 like, degrees. So we'll have to turn the diesel heater on, get the heat in the booth, in the panels, so that also speeds up our flash off times as well, just slightly, um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into it. 